helps discover, monitor, and protect mission-critical um, enterprise data. Uh, the solution allows you to, in an agentless manner, connect back to various uh, data repositories, on-premises in the cloud, structured, unstru unstructured, uh, could also be uh, email messaging applications. Um, and the system provides a risk dashboard uh, that looks not unlike uh, what you're seeing here, that provides uh, views into all of the data within your environment from uh, thematic categories of data to uh, things like PII, PCI, juxtaposed inside with context uh, to uh, where there may be um, risk to that data from sharing either outside the company, uh, data that may have been shared via links um, or data that could potentially be duplicates or uh, near duplicates. Um, and risk gets calibrated on a bunch of dimensions like uh, data that may have been uh, inappropriately shared outside the company or uh, data that um, employees have shared, you know, intellectual property that uh, employees have shared with their own uh, personal email accounts or things like secrets and keys inside of unstructured data or unclassified uh, privacy information or uh, sensitive data like financial data that's been shared organization wide. Um, and all of this comes from uh, a systemic, thematic, category-oriented view that the system is able to produce uh, without requiring any rules or regex or policy expressions. And uh, this happens using uh, deep learning language models that allows for the solution to understand data with context without any prior training um, on site, uh, without the customer having to provide good and bad data sets. Uh, for example, data gets organized into various thematic categories like legal, HR, finance, etc. And if you click on finance, it also provides you with uh, various subcategories. We have more than 600 models today supporting uh, 250 plus thematic categories of data and continuing to expand, uh, where, for example, you can look at you know, wire transfer data uh, and it can tell you um, all of the different um, locations where it found uh, the information, uh, things like uh, PII, PCI uh, information in it, like the kinds of PII that it was able to find um, inside of the information, uh, and, and also permissions, like for example, you know, who, who are all the internal, uh, external users and groups that have access to this information, uh, including, for example, providing uh, a list view into where all of this data might be located. And uh, if you wanted to look, for example, at just PII data uh, inside of this information, uh, you can actually find out, um, for example, all the thematic categories within which uh, it was able to find uh, ABI routing information as an example. The system is also able to provide you with a view into uh, lineage around the data. Uh, for example, you can take uh, any particular uh, data element, it's not only able to tell you where this data element is sitting, but it can tell you what the predecessor um, files or data records might have been. Uh, and the successor files as well as it flows through environment uh, across the various data repositories from, for example, Box to uh, Dropbox to Windows file systems to even like email and uh, messaging applications. Um, and the system is able to provide you with uh, uh, group information. Uh, it's also able to give you uh, metadata about uh, the information as well as things like uh, specific PII that it might have extracted um, inside of this location. The system is um, very, very easy to be able to set up. Um, so you can actually configure it um, for various you know, structured, um, unstructured data repositories on premises in the cloud, from things like you know, SharePoint and Exchange to Slack, uh, to SQL Server, to Snowflake, um, and, and so on. And um, the system is then able to kind of give you uh, a risk-oriented view that's also autonomously defined that gets into um, various dimensions on which uh, the system is able to understand and glean risk within your environment. Uh, the system also has a policy marketplace. Uh, so you can actually use, uh, you can also get uh, user profiles. Uh, so for example, we can go down and uh, get risk dashboard. So you can actually pull up um, a, a user's profile and it's able to give you uh, information around uh, who the user is, uh, what he or she might have done, 
uh, including information like you know what information did they access and so on. And there's also like a policy marketplace that allows you to uh, essentially be able to, uh, to look at various policies that other customers might have been able to define um, and, and essentially use this to basically be able to pull back into your dashboard uh, for policy enforcement. So hopefully uh, that gives you a view into uh, what the solution can do for you. If you would like to learn more, www.concentric.ai, please contact us for more information. Thank you very much.